Hey guys, Memory here. Today, we're going to do an experiment and see how fast, with the use of, um, like, pathfinding thick mods and stuff, we can get diamonds. So let's start get some wood. Let's use make axe and loads of sticks, because we're going to get full diamond armor and full diamond tools, including a diamond hoe and diamond shovel, as quickly as we can. So, we only need to make four different pickaxes. It's not too bad, really. Let's go like this. Make some sticks. crafting table back up. Then there we go. We need to get eleven stone. So this is all automatic. I've got my hands off the keyboard. We will get the council ready though once we hit eleven. Because we need to make ourselves a furnace. here this is showing you the progress and the time left and then coordinates at bottom and I didn't really need to say that it's pretty self-explanatory but I'm going to leave the furnace here because we won't really need this furnace for much longer we won't need this furnace ever again we just need to craft ourselves an iron pick pick up the furnace and then do dot b mine diamond underscore ore see where it takes us. Not sure why it did this. It just finds the quickest route, so I'm gonna trust it. Now once we've got three diamonds we should we'll cancel it and craft ourselves a diamond pickaxe. Get the I think it's like thirty two or something we need to craft everything else. And then uh shouldn't take too long with how direct this is. Right. There we go. Would have been quicker to click that, but oh well. Now we can just do that. So it won't take as long to get the diamonds we need at all. I'm going to do this all live. Just so you can see how speedy it is with this pathfinding tool. You can also build schematics in a world with it and things like that. And just use it to get, get around to places automatically. Because you can basically get diamonds and things AFK. And if you have mending on your pickaxe, that's useful. Now, it does also seem to avoid lava and things, which is good, um, but I'm not sure about mobs yet, because I've not gone into a cave. But this wireframe is, is just odd to look at, to be honest. So, let's see. 
wasn't many, so we've got 27 seconds. It is quite odd looking at this. I'll probably speed this up a bit. Or maybe not, it'll probably be sickening. Oh, that's the creeper. That's what it doesn't plan for, creeper attacks. Which is an issue. But, oh well. We're getting diamonds now, so... It's not really too big of an issue. See, just going over there. Oh, wow, that... It's odd when you go past lava and things, because... I'm pretty sure it takes, like, the most efficient route it can. So if you had to get to places it needed to put blocks in, it would probably place blocks for you. Like that, it does it automatically. So it, it's pretty cool. We're about halfway to our half stack of diamonds that we need. We've not been going for very long, so that's good. Of course, if you had, if you upgraded your pickaxe and things like that more, it would be a lot easier to uh, get more diamonds quicker. But we're just going with um, just a plain pickaxe. You can see why I upgraded it to a diamond pickaxe so quickly. It's because it's so much quicker and. Needs to do quite a lot of mining, so uh, let's, let's just go into a free camp. So this is this is what the pathfinding looks like from outside. So it's quite cool how it does it. Anyway, all right, let's see. All right, we'll go for two more. Craft everything up and. Then we'll have full diamond armor. Alright. I just crafted another diamond pickaxe by accident. go. That's everything. Except for a shovel. Boom. Full diamond gear. In not very long at all. So anyway guys, that's going to do it. If you've enjoyed the video, remember to subscribe and like the video. Anyway, that's going to do it. So thank you for watching and goodbye!